Hi, and thanks for checking out this introductory video on Digicel Flipbook. As you can see, Flipbook has two main windows, the image window and the timing window, which is also called an X sheet. In Flipbook, you can draw directly into the image window where you have up to 20 levels of undo, or if you prefer, you can use paper and pencil and scan or shoot your drawings directly into Flipbook as well. Flipbook also makes it easy for you to paint your drawings and play them back with sound or without. While your scene is playing, you can speed it up so that it looks like this guy's just had way too much coffee or you can slow it down until he's desperately in need of an energy drink. This box shows you what frame is being played, and if you pause Flipbook, you can type any number into that box, and it'll take you to that frame. So it's a great way to get around. In Flipbook, you can customize the main toolbar. You can add additional icons for things that you might do more often, or remove icons for things that you don't do too frequently makes Flipbook much easier to work with. In the Windows version of Flipbook, you can peel the toolbars away from the edge of the window where they're docked. And you can change their shape by dragging on the edge of them, and you can dock them back in wherever you want. Now that's a Windows feature. The Mac version does let you have horizontal or vertical toolbars, but they will always be floating. They don't dock. That's just the difference between Windows and OS X. Flipbook's timing sheet is vertical, the way animators have done it for, well, ever since the beginning. Every row is a frame, and every column is a level or a layer. In Flipbook, you can turn a layer off or back on, and you'll see how Flipbook automatically recomposites it on the fly so it's ready for you to watch as soon as you make your changes. Flipbook's color palette has 256 colors, and each layer in the X sheet can have its own palette, so you never run out of colors. If you want to edit a color or change the palette, just double click or right click on a square in the palette, and it brings up this color picker. When you click in the color picker, Flipbook immediately updates the image so you can see how that color looks in your character against the background. Okay, one nice thing about it is it also automatically recomposites your change on the fly so it's ready to play as soon as you go back to it. Now let's speed this guy back up because the energy drink has uh, finally taken effect. So as you can see, Flipbook does pretty much everything you need to make your own animated movies with sound. You can play them back on your computer, on your TV, or even share them on the internet. Well, that does it for this introductory video. Check back often for more detailed videos on each of the features in Digicel Flipbook. And don't forget, Flipbook is the software that the animators used on the Simpsons movie. And Curious George, and Looney Tunes back in action, and Rugrats go wild, and the wild thornberries, and Disney's enchanted, and Teacher's Pet, and the guys at Disney are using it right now on The Princess and the Frog. So if the professional animators that can use any software they want choose to use Flipbook, maybe you should too. Thanks a lot, and bye.